Hello and welcome to the Sunday special edition of Louis Times. And here are the top five news of the week that created buzz in the headlines. Six traditional items from Assam, including Assamese Dhol and Japi, have received prestigious geographical indication tags granted by the Government of India's Geographical Indication Registry. Products receiving the GI tags include iconic Assam Bihu Dhol, Assam Japi, Hortevari Metal Craft, Panimetika Craft, Missing Tap, and Akshari Kandi's exquisite terracotta works. The GI tag system started in India in 2003 during the NDA's rule. It is a process to identify a product as originating from a particular place and possessing certain qualities, characteristics or reputation that are due to that place of origin. It serves as a trademark in the international market. Earlier this month, Assam's famous Majuli masks or Majuli manuscript painting were awarded the GI tag. This is a part of Assam's new Vaishnavite traditional practice in the state since the 16th century. Rajiv Sabha Chairman Jagdeep Dhankar on Wednesday administered oath to 12 newly elected members of the Upper House of Parliament. The oath was administered in Parliament House where Rajya Sabha Deputy Chairman Hari Vansh and Secretary General P.K. Modi were present. Those who were administered oath are Dharam Sheila Gupta, Manoj Kumar Jha, Sanjay Yadav, Govind Bhai Lalji Bhai Dholakia, Subhash Chandir, Harsh Mahajan, G.C. Chandrasekhar, L. Murugan, Ashok Singh, Chandrakant Handore. Medha Vishram Kulkarni and Sadhna Singh. Their tenure started from April 3rd. Of the 12 MPs who took oath, seven are from the BJP, three from Congress and two from the Rashtriya Janta Dal. Former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh ended his 33-year-long parliamentary innings in the Rajya Sabha on 3rd of April, just as former party chief Sonia Gandhi entered the upper house of the parliament for the first time. Mr. Singh, who is known for ushering in several bold reforms in the economy, became a member of the house for the first time in October 1991. He was the finance minister in the Narasimha Rao government from 1991 to 1996 and the prime minister from 2004 to 2014. And after having completed 25 years in the Lok Sabha, Congress Parliamentary Party Chairperson Sonia Gandhi started her fresh innings in the Rajya Sabha after she took oath as a member in the Upper House. She will represent Rajasthan in the Council of States by filling the seat that fell vacant after 91-year-old former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh completed his tenure. Sonia Gandhi will be the second member of the Gandhi family to enter the Rajya Sabha after former Prime Minister and her mother-in-law Indira Gandhi, who had a two-and-a-half-year tenure tenure as a member of the upper house. The strongest earthquake in a quarter century rocked Taiwan Wednesday morning, killing nine people, stranding dozens at quarries and national park, and sending some residents scrambling out the windows of the damaged buildings. The quake, which injured more than 1,000, struck just before 8 a.m. and was centered off the coast of rural, mountainous Walian County, where some buildings leaned at severe angles. Their ground floors just crushed. Just over 150 kilometers away in the capital of Taipei, tiles fell from older buildings and school Schools evacuated students to Spots Field aftershocks followed. Since Taiwan is regularly jolted by quakes and its population is among the best prepared for them, authorities expected a relatively mild earthquake and did not send out alerts. The eventual quake was strong enough to scare even people who are used to such shaking. A small tsunami washed ashore on ja southern Japanese island but caused no damage. At least 1,011 people were reported injured. In a major relief to jail, former Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan, a high court on Monday suspended the 14-year sentence given to him and his wife Bushra Bibi in the Tosha Khana corruption case. The two were sentenced to 14 years in jail each by an accountability court on 31st of January for alleged corruption in state gifts they got from the state depository days before the general elections. They challenged the conviction in the Islamabad High Court, where a two-member bench headed by Islamabad High Court Chief Justice Amir Farooq heard the case. On Monday, the court gave temporary relief to the couple in the case by suspending their sentences and granting them bail in the case. However, the court announced that their appeals against the conviction would be heard after the Eid festival next month.